Hello everybody out there on the internet, this is your favorite video blogger and tech tip extraordinaire, Andrew Salas, uh, here with another great tip brought to you by smallbusinesstechtips.com. Uh, I hope you uh, caught my previous video informing you about some Microsoft uh, kind of office templates that you could go, and if you haven't, you can go ahead and check that video out here. And, but uh, today we're going to be talking about screenshots and how they can help you out and uh, be a little bit more versatile. Uh, it's real exciting stuff, I know. I, I could tell you're excited. But uh, I could tell you right now, uh, I use it on a daily basis. It's a very powerful tool. Uh, I use it to uh, truncate emails, um, also create more comprehensive documentation. It's more of a tool to kind of spark your memory as well as uh, anybody that you're sending information to. Uh, you know, the whole adage of a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, you know, you might as well uh, save yourself some time and <clears throat> we'll kind of get right into it. So what kind of sparked this idea was in uh, the newer operating system in, uh, let's say, Windows Vista and uh, Windows 7, they uh, created this tool called uh, the Snippet Tool. And it's it's really a, a screenshot tool that you could utilize just by clicking your Start button here and typing in uh, Snip, and it'll bring up the whole tool at the top of here in the programs. Uh, it's Snipping Tool if you uh, want to type it out completely. But you bring that up. Uh, and it takes your screen and basically grays it out completely and you could take let's say a shot of this of any por portion of your screen you just uh, drag it a portion of it <clears throat> and what it does is it cuts that down and puts it into this little kind of uh, screen editing program here and uh, you can make your kind of notations uh, circle on things for people to pay attention to and uh, maybe some pointers uh, copy it out of here, paste it in email, save it as JPEG files, but this tool is basically an extension of all the tools that you already have available to you. What we're going to be doing is the same capability, and but we're going to be doing it in our uh, desktop right here. Uh, so a couple different things that you're probably going to want to need to know is where is your screenshot button at? And uh, your clipboard it's basically like an unseen uh, part of uh, of your of your workflow. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to make the unseen scene and go ahead and pop this uh, helper up right here, and we'll be able to see what's in the clipboard. Uh, you won't be able to see this in yours. This is just kind of for the sake of the tutorial uh, to know what's in the clipboard. All right, thanks. So uh, it's if I copy something. Uh, even even if it's text, I could create a notepad. So basically, what we're going to be doing is the same thing as uh, you know uh, your edit button up here, but it's constantly going in, on in your operating system. So we're going to be utilizing the cut, copy, uh, paste options uh, with the Control X, the Control C, and the Control V. Let's say I have you know uh, some text here, which is just you know part one. If I copy it. And then uh, what I need to, if I paste it, it puts it right back on there. So if I, it's it's on my clipboard right now, so I could paste it as many times as I want, and that's in there. It's still being saved into my in, in the background. So if I start typing, you know, other things in here, it's always going to be saved in my clipboard so I could always reference back control V and go into until you replace it with something else it's always going to be there and the same thing with your uh, cut button let's say I needed to move this uh, part 2 section all the way to the bottom I just control X it cuts it out of there and it puts it in my clipboard so I could paste it pretty much anywhere I want you want to be familiar with those kind of uh, functions to move this information around as it is but the all what we're going to be doing is adding in this uh, this print screen button, which should be uh, somewhere at the top right of your keyboard. And uh, here are a few different uh, places and keyboards uh, that I just have around my house that they would be. But usually they're kind of uh, hovering around your your. Uh, insert button or your page break pause and uh, those keys right there so it should, it should be top right somewhere over there you want to locate that uh, so let's say I wanted to take a screenshot of my whole screen that's pretty easy all you're gonna do is hit that print screen button and it's gonna take a full image of everything on your screen uh, you could 
and what I'm going to use and what you sh should all in op all operating systems have it uh, all, all Windows XP operating systems have it is this paint it's a very primitive kind of image editing tool but it, st it gets the job done so if I go into here into my uh, paint and I already hit my print screen button uh, what I'm going to do is paste this into here so uh, I could go in here and hit edit paste or what I'm going to do is just press control V and that's going to take my whole screen that I just copied and put it in here so from here I could take snippets out and do selections about different different parts of it or something like that and uh, kind of make my own uh, edits in here if I need to draw attention to a certain place I could what I usually do is use like a red paintbrush and you know do some circling or some arrows and let's say I needed to email this to somebody uh, I don't need to email my whole screen I just need to email the part that they need to kind of focus on I could grab my marquee tool here which it, it looks like, you know, marching ants. Uh, if you hover over it, it'll say select, and you could do freeform selection tool, which will allow you to do a little bit more complex geometry if you're selecting around things. But generally, if you're going to be posting this into emails and stuff like that, you're going to be uh, wanting the, a square or not needing to kind of make a star <laughs> selection or something like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we have that selected. Press Control C, or you could go up here and to still do the edit copy. And now that portion uh, that is selected is on your unseen clipboard right now. So all we need to do is navigate to wherever we want to place it. Let's say we go into a new email message and we type it out. Uh, we press Control V or uh, we could just paste it f using this button that they make available to here. And, or if you hit File uh, and or Edit Paste, you could get the same thing. But now you have your image kind of with your your notations, your notes, and everything, in the, the spot that it's focused on. Uh, another way, let's say you have an error message or something like that, and you need to get it to tech support to explain it, or you don't want to copy and paste uh, the whole thing, uh, we could just create an error message right now. So let's say I'm having a problem. It's giving me, you know, the, the, the pop-up really bad, uh, you know, sound that nobody likes. But you want to get this to tech support and to get them uh, to what they are. You don't want to take time to copy the whole screen down and uh, cut this out. You could definitely do that, but it takes a little time. But another little trick is if you press the Alt key that's right next to your space bar uh, on either side, if you just hold that down and press your print screen button, that's going to copy just your active window. So you're the, you know, the window that's on the top. Uh, right now it's this... Uh, error message but if I were to select the paint it's it, that would come to the front and I would be copying that but I copied my error message and now I'm just gonna paste it into my email with control V or you could also use this the, this button right here and it'll do the same thing but you see how that captured just your active window it's a very helpful uh, little um, tip right there to kind of focus it in and if you needed to as well uh, if you're doing settings or something like that let's say you're not sure what to put in an email setting that's in your options or what checkbox do I select or you need to illustrate to somebody what checkbox to select you press alt print screen and that's gonna grab this little active window that's up at the top <clears throat> and I could throw it into my paint and I'm just going to create a new one here so we're not putting it over that other desktop so if I press control V it puts just that active window into my paint and I could use these little uh, toggle buttons here to kind of bring me down to just exactly what I need and you can make your own notes in here uh, I would definitely recommend you know doing some explanation other than just the red stuff but let's say you wanted to you say you know hit this uh, button right here and then you hit OK after that you could type in steps for one and two if you needed to with your text tools uh, that are in here uh, so it's 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 really uh, a helpful tool to kinda get your get your uh, get your point across and it's it's definitely when I'm dealing with people on uh, uh, trying to get 
a, a perspective on what somebody's saying or if I'm creating documentation on so, a, pr a process or a procedure that is going to be ha have to learn or you're, you're going to have to train somebody on later, it's definitely a, a sweet, nice tool to, to kind of use. So uh, uh, it's just like the snippet tool. You have the same capabilities, but you'll basically be uh, off and running, kind of uh, creating and uh, sharing your screen and messages uh, to all people that are involved. I hope you have found this kind of uh, to be helpful. I know when I first came across all this information, it made my life a whole lot easier, and I hope it will make your uh, experience with your computer a, a lot easier to kind of go. If you have any questions or anything like that, definitely just shoot us an email. Uh, I'll put our emails into the post. And if you have any suggestions or uh, anything that you want us to touch base on uh, for any ideas for a blog post, definitely uh, pass that information along. We can see what we get out to you. Everybody have a great day, and uh, look out for our next videos.